in this question we are asked to show that the given differential equation is homogeneous and we are asked to find the particular solution how to show that a differential equation is homogeneous uh, one thing to do is if you bring dy by dx into the into the form of some function which is says the g into y by x if you can bring a uh, given uh, some differential equation into this form then we, we can say that it's homogeneous the other thing to do is if you can just uh, uh, if you can just show that let's say this is equal to some f of x comma y if you can show that f of lambda x comma lambda y is equal to f of x y even then we can say that it's uh, homogeneous so because we see simply we can say lambda by x will gv to y by x will become 1 here so it doesn't matter here g of y by x is simply got to g of lambda y by lambda x so these both are simply uh, the same expressions now let's try to bring it into g of y by x form so given that will become 2y into e power x by y dx plus y minus 2x and e power x by y into dy is equal to 0 so that simply implies dy by dx is equal to uh, 2y into e power x by y by this total into minus into y minus 2x into e power x by y uh, now this can be written as if we divide both numerator and denominator with uh, x we get 2 into y by x into e power x by y by simply y by x minus 2 into e power x by y so this is simply if I write y by x equal to some lambda then this will become minus 2 into lambda e power 1 by lambda by lambda minus 2 into e power 1 by lambda so as you can see they, we just brought it into some uh, form g of y by x or simply g of lambda now we, we said y by x equal to lambda so th 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 we just showed that it's homogeneous this part done now we are uh, supposed to find the particular solution and given that when x equal to 0 y equal to 1 so now let's initial first try to find the general solution then try to find the particular solution so we get uh, from this since y by x equal to lambda that is plus dy by dx is equal to d of lambda x by t of dx this is equal to x d lambda by dx plus lambda into 1 this is equal to x d lambda by d lambda now if you just put it back in this expression we get uh, that will make up d x d lambda by dx plus lambda is equal to minus 2 lambda e power 1 by lambda by 1 lambda minus 2 into e power 1 by lambda this will become x d lambda by dx is equal to this will become minus lambda power 1 by lambda so for the solving we get uh, this into this 2 e power 1 by lambda into minus lambda minus lambda square minus this is minus already minus 2 lambda into e power 1 by lambda this this will get cancelled by lambda minus 2 into e power 1 by lambda 
so this if you put it back we get uh, d lambda by dx into x is equal to lambda minus 2 into the power 1 by lambda by lambda square into minus so we got this into form where we can separate the separate the two variables so I'll just try to separate them that means d lambda into lambda square by sorry into oh this is just I just wrote it uh, reverse line this is simply equal to minus lambda square by lambda minus 2 into e power 1 by lambda now this will become from this we get d lambda into minus lambda square by sorry into lambda minus 2 into e power 1 by lambda by lambda square into minus is equal to d lambda dx by x we just got separate variables now from this if we integrate so we get uh, simply integrating on two sides you integrate this side and integrate this side we will get integration of minus d lambda by lambda plus integration of 2 into e power 1 by lambda by lambda square d lambda this is equal to dx by x integration so this is simply minus log lambda to the base e plus some constant c1 plus this will become if we say 1 by lambda equal to t then we get minus 1 by lambda square d lambda equal to dt so the, from here we can simply write this as integration of 2 into e power t dt minus so this will become minus integration of 2 into e power t dt is equal to this is simply log x to the base e plus some constant c2 finally we get uh, minus log lambda to the base e plus c1 minus 2 into again e power t e power t is simply 1 by lambda minus some constant c3 is equal to log x to the base e plus c2 so this if we just write down we get uh, log x plus log lambda plus 2 into e power 1 by lambda is equal to some big constant c uh, just writing this c2 minus c1 plus blah blah the whole thing has one constant combining the three constants and uh, we get this expression this is general solution but we need particular solution to need, uh, get particular solution we are given a clue that is when x equal to 0 y is equal to 1 so now we get when x equal to 0 y is equal to 1 so just put it there we get so, so th this is general equation if we write it in y and x that will change as log x plus log lambda is y by x plus 2 into e power x by y is equal to c this implies log x plus log y by x is simply log y plus 2 into e power x by y is equal to c so putting this x equal to 0 and y equal to 1 we get 0 plus 2 into e power 0 equal to 1 c equal to c that implies c equal to 2 since e power 0 is 1 where this is 2 so therefore the particular solution particular solution is log y plus 2 e power x by y is equal to 2 this is the particular solution of the given uh, question